What's up guys, today I have massively overslept. About an hour ago, we just got a metric shit ton of new information about the Chainsaw Man anime that is coming out in less than a month now. And while I wanted to watch it live and react to it, uh, an hour later is gonna have to do. So I have not seen this new trailer yet. All I know is that we have information about the new opening theme by Kenshi Onezu, and we're getting 12 separate ending themes by various artists, including Maximum the Hormone, who is one of my personal favorite Japanese metal bands. We also got confirmation for some new voice actors like for Kobeni, Hirokazu Arai, Himeno, and I actually, I accidentally played the trailer a little bit at first and I heard uh, Kenjiro Tsuda's voice who's going to be voicing uh, Kishibe and that is a fantastic choice already. I did not see his name anywhere when I opened Twitter this morning, but it's awesome to see that he's part of this as well. He's one of my personal favorite voice actors. You know, he did Fujimi no Tatsu in Gokushu Fudo, he did Overhaul in My Hero Academia, he did uh, Kento Nanami and Jujutsu Kaisen. He did a bunch of other shit. You guys know him. You guys love him. But not only am I going to be reacting to this trailer, I hear that there is going to be a snippet of the opening theme in this trailer. And that's going to be kind of what I want to zero in on. Because yes, I love the voice acting, and yes, I love the animation, but I'm not a voice actor. I'm not an animator. Sure, I make videos about anime on YouTube, but one thing I am is I'm actually a professional songwriter. At least according to a piece of paper I spent way too much money to get from a music college. So, not only are we gonna react to this trailer, but we're also gonna break down the snippets of the opening theme we can hear and just talk about it. So without further ado, let's just start watching the trailer. <laughs> Kenjiro Suda's voice. Sorry, I, I I know I know I shouldn't stop it every five seconds, but oh my god, Tsubie looks so fucking good Ugh! with Kenji Atsuda's voice as well. I don't even remember if I said that that would be a good option for him in my voice uh, my fan voice casting video, but uh, I feel like I would have said that. I, that was too long ago for me to remember, but it's just perfect. Yeah. Oh. I'm really feeling this soundtrack right now. Whew, okay, let's keep going. Oh! Oh! I saw Kobeni! Kobeni's my favorite. Wait, wait, let's get back. Okay, so we have Himeno, Aki, Arai, Kobeni, uh, all looking fucking awesome. I don't want to dwell too much on this. We're going to get into this more. If I'm going to pause it every five seconds, it'll be a 10 hour long video. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I love uh, Jimeno's voice. Uh, I don't, I don't remember what I said in my fan casting video, but I, that's kind of what I envisioned for Jimeno. Uh, kind of a smoother. Uh, I don't want to say sexier voice, but I'm gonna have to say that because there's no other way to say it. Um, I like that though. I bet we're about to hear Hirokazu Arai's voice next. I'm certain <laughs> no one really cares, but uh, let's listen to it. You know what, and then we can take bets. If Hirokazu Arai's voice is the same as the Violence Fiend's voice later in the series, then we'll know for sure that they are the same character. <gasps> Kobeni. Wait, wait, sorry. Okay, that's a very ugly face I made. Kobeni's voice is so cute. I love it. Oh, she's my favorite. Uh, oh, that makes my heart warm. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna keep going, but oh, jeez. Okay, good. I'm glad they got a good voice actress for her. I forgot who I said I wanted to do it. Oh, we saw Denji's bread. Oh, let's go back. Wait, wait. Okay, Tomato Devil confirmed. But Denji's bread, that's the most important. Oh, that shit looks disgusting and delicious at the same time. Okay. Too loud. Okay. I'm, 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 okay. I'm vibing with it. I'm vibing with it. Um... I will say, I, I, when I saw this morning that it was going to be Kenshi Yonezu, 
uh, doing the opening theme. I love Kenshi Onezu. He is a great artist. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't going to be a uh, just absolute face-melting metal song. Uh, I, I was hoping maybe Maximum the Hormone would do it because I felt like that would be fitting. But, uh, you know, Mappa knows what they're doing. Fujimoto himself had a hand in picking out everything that's happening with the music in this series. I, I honestly, because it, it, right now it's just like, it, it's a, a jam. But I feel like there's more to say about the, uh, the Kenshiro uh, uh, soundtrack uh, <laughs> than the opening theme. But uh, let's keep going through this. Okay, so uh, I'm stopping it there. I'm not. I'm, I am going to keep going, um, but I just wanted to talk about a few of the things I heard from that alone, which is that this actually might not be as light of a just a playful light rock jam kind of like he did for Peace Sign for My Hero Academia. Uh, I, I like the electronic drums, and it seemed like he is actually pushing a little more fire out of his voice. Uh, so I'm going back just a little. Yeah, yeah, dude, I, I like what he was kind of pushing out there uh, with that last section. If I knew what he was saying, maybe I could try to mimic it, but uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I I like how he's pushing a little bit of grunge out of his voice, which I didn't think he could or would do, because I think the, the, the drawing factor for Kenshi Onezu is his silky smooth voice. But yeah, uh, let's just get through it. I like the uh, all the electronic, uh, weird kind of Kensuke Ushio sounds that uh, we're hearing right now with that as well. I feel like maybe they could have collabed on this. I don't know. I could just be talking out of my ass right now. That one uh, isolated vocal line right, right after this. That actually kind of reminds me, I hate that I'm saying this, because I actually, I myself am not that big of a fan of this band, but it reminds me a little bit of Fall Out Boy, uh, at, at least like post-hiatus Fall Out Boy, which is my least favorite iteration of said artist. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I am very, very much liking this. Also, you know, Denji's voice actor is just so fucking good. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That's nuts. That is so nuts. Um, wait, okay, let's just go back to where the music starts again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I'm certain it's going to be a lot more hype when you're hearing it through, like, speakers. It's the only thing that's going on. We have sound effects. We have voice acting going on. Uh, there, there's a lot going on. And I'm not saying that I personally don't like it, because actually I think it's fantastic. But for those of you, including myself, that were maybe hoping for something a little more, like, harder, I think we should definitely wait till we're hearing it through speakers, just because as it stands, like, playing through an anime trailer and just hearing a small snippet of it, it doesn't do justice to how it's actually going to sound when you're seeing it in the opening animation, the opening theme. And it does seem like Kenshi Onezu is pushing his voice in this. Because like I said, that uh, this isn't the same kind of performance he's giving in Peace Sign. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna go hard, and that's gonna hit really, really hard. I'm, I'm certain there's gonna be some sick animations when that happen. Yeah, oh my, all around, just a fantastic, fantastic trailer. There really isn't too much to say with what we have so far, but I'm really happy with what we got. We got a killer performance from Kenshi Onezu, bringing out a hard rock and jam that I could only assume is akin to that of a post hiatus Fallout Boy song but made for an anime opening, and then also just better than Fall Out Boy. No shade to Fall Out Boy fans, they're just not my cup of tea. But, 
Tenshio Nezu is my cup of tea, and that's fucking sick. Uh, I do kind of want to hear the maximum, the hormone ending theme, and all the other ending themes, and maybe I'll do a video breaking down those. I don't know. This is all I really had time for because it's my birthday today, and I also have work, and I have a shit ton of things I have to get done, so uh, I can't spend too long on this video, unfortunately. But before I leave you guys, let's just listen to Himeno and Kobeni one last time. And that soundtrack, holy shit. Wait. Yeah, that soundtrack fucking slaps though. Oh my god, the, just cheering that bass and, and the electronic sounds. Ugh, nuts. Alrighty, that's about it. I'm gonna go touch some grass or whatever you guys tell me to do on Twitter all the time. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm also gonna be doing weekly episode reviews in the same day the episodes drop of Chainsaw Man. I'm doing Chainsaw Man Part 2 chapter reviews, same day they drop, every week that they drop. So if you like that kind of thing, Feel free to join in, leave a sub, hit that bell button so you'll know when I drop them. I'd love to see you down in the comments. Also, feel free to follow me on social medias like Twitter and Instagram. I have links to those down in the description below. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.